Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to ETSKI Tutorials, and this is FPS 1.15. In this episode, we're going to learn how to actually make the gun uh, randomly move from side to side and up and down so that the bullets don't all end up in the exact same place. So every time we shoot the gun, we're going to add a little bit of a random value to target X rotation and target Y rotation so that the rotation of the gun changes. Um, so that all the bullets um, don't end up all in the same place. And remember, we have the um, bullet spawn pointing and staying in the exact direction of the gun. So when we move the gun, that's going to move where the bullets are going to shoot from and spawn at. Uh, so this is how we're going to add some randomizations to the gun. And I think it's going to look a lot more realistic because uh, exactly where the gun is pointing, that's where a bullet's going to shoot. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this is going to be separate than the gun recoil, which we're going to do in the next episode. So right now when you shoot a bullet, the gun's going to randomly jerk this way or this way or this way. And it's not really going to look realistic, but it is going to add spread to our bullets. And it will look realistic once we actually add the recoil to the gun. But the recoil of the gun is different code. We actually have to make the gun move back and then slowly move back forward. But as far as the rotation of the gun, we already have the code in place that smoothly moves the gun back to where it needs to be. Um, so all we need to do is add a little bit of random value every time we fire a bullet that's going to move the target X rotation and the target Y rotation. So yeah, let's pull up our variables and this is what we're going to be working with today. So we're going to be inside of the gun script and we only have two variables that we're going to use and they're practically the same variable. Um, the first one is shoot angle randomization, not aiming, shoot angle, and the second one is shoot angle randomization, aiming. Um, so these are practically the same variable except one of them, uh, not aiming, is going to be the amount or uh, in uh, number of degrees or the angle of randomization we want to add to the target X rotation and target Y rotation when we're not aiming. So when we're aiming from the hip or when it's just resting at our side. But when we are aiming, we're going to be using a different number because in real life, when your gun is sitting at your hip, you're holding it more loosely and it's going to shake around a lot more when you fire it. Uh, whereas if you're aiming it, it's pressed against your shoulder, you know, you have two hands on it, you're lining it up with your sights, you're concentrating on keeping it um, steady. So it's going to be a smaller number in a smaller amount of randomization, where if it's at your hip, it's going to be going all over the place. So depending on the gun, we can change both of these values until it looks realistic. So let's take a look at our code. And a lot of this is actually code that we already have in place. So all of this is the um, script that is run when we press left click um, and wait till next fire is ready to go and our countdown timer for the next fire is ready and we have a bullet and all that. We already went over all of this, but the only two lines of code that we're adding are these two here. So yeah, these um, are going to happen right after we instantiate the bullet or if we have a bullet and we instantiate the bullet. So this is going to happen alongside of wait till next fire, changing to one and creating the bullet. We're going to be adding randomization to the Y rotation and the X rotation. So we're doing plus equals. So that means we are changing it based on what it already is. So the first part of this equation is we're using random dot value minus 0.5 inside of parentheses. So what random.value, or first of all, random is a class, and this is a class that we can use to access a bunch of different random variables and functions. And basically, whenever you want to do something random inside of your game, whether that's rolling a dice, or a chance of whether or not an enemy is going to spawn, or how much damage something's going to do, you're gonna wanna get it out of the random class. And the very the simplest variable that we can get outside of or get from the random class is value. So when we do random.value, basically we're accessing a number that is randomly between 0 and 1. Um, and then we are minusing 0.5 from it because if we were to just give it a, a positive value that is randomly between 0 and 1, our gun would always jerk this way or always jerk this way. So it would only go like up and to the right. And you know, if you're firing a gun, your gun's not going to do that. It's going to do more like this. It's going to randomly go all over the place. So we need to find a value that instead of being between 0 and 1 is going to be between negative 0.5 and 0.5. So when we minus 0.5 from random.value, 
random net value is between 0 and 1, and 0 minus 0.5 is negative 0.5, and 1 minus 0.5 is 0.5. So that gives us our val our random value that's going to be between negative 0.5 and 0.5. So that way our gun can go left and right and up and down randomly. All right, so now we're going to multiply that by a number that is given back to us from mathf.lerp. So if you remember what math mathf math I can't talk. mathf.lerp basically you give it a minimum number and a maximum number and then a ratio number. All right, and now if that uh, ratio number that you give it is zero, it's gonna give you back the minimum number. If the ratio number you give it is one, it's gonna give you back the maximum number. If the ratio number is larger than one, it gives you back the maximum number, and if it is smaller than zero, it's going to give you the minimum number. Um, and if you give it 0.5 or any number in between zero uh, and one, it's gonna give you back a number in between the minimum, minimum number and the maximum number accordingly. So yeah, and now we have, or we're giving it the minimum minimum number of shoot angle randomization aiming, and sh uh, maximum number of shoot angle randomization not aiming, and we're giving it a ratio number of ratio hip aim. So if you remember, ratio hip aim is a number that we created uh, that is a ratio um, between holding the gun at your hip and actually aiming it in the very center of the screen. So if ratio hip aim is zero, any number times zero is going to be zero. So that's going to zero the gun into the center of the screen. Whereas one times any number is going to be itself. Uh, we're multiplying that number by hold side and hold height. So if uh, you multiply that by zero, it's going to zero in the center of the screen. If you multiply that number by one, it's going to be sitting at your side. So we have ratio uh, hold or ratio hip hold smooth damped between those two numbers. Um, so we know that one is holding at the uh, hip and zero is aiming. So remember I said that in math f, uh, or math f dot lerp, if you give it zero, it's gonna give you the minimum number. Um, and the minimum number we have right here is shoot angle randomization aiming, or the random angle number that we want to add to x rotation and y rotation uh, when we are aiming, so when it's zeroed in on the center of the screen, and then if random or ratio hip hold or ratio yeah hip aim i mean if ratio hip aim is 1 it's going to give us this number here which is shoot angle randomization not aiming so when we're not aiming and it's sitting at our side so this is probably going to be a larger number because you're not concentrating on holding the gun and aiming it so it's going to fire a little bit more randomly um, and then we have ratio hip aim so yeah, these two lines are exactly the same, except for one of them is for X rotation and one of them is for Y rotation. So actually, let me step off the screen for a second because I know that this uh, is covering most of the screen and I don't wanna be standing in front of it just so that you guys can read it. And you have probably read it by now, so I'm going to step back into the frame. So yeah, that is all the code that we need to actually make the gun randomly move so that all our bullets spread out randomly. So this is different from the recoil of the gun, which we're going to be doing in the next episode. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to know to actually make the gun randomly go up and down and left and right. So I'm going to cut the green screen and go straight to Unity and show you how to do that inside of Unity. Alright, here we are inside of Unity and let's quick do a little test run just to see how the bullets go all exactly in the same place. It's uh, They don't scatter at all or anything like that. So let's make the script to actually make them scatter and be a bit more random. So we need to open up the gun script and we need to add two variables and those are var, um, what was it? Let me see what I called them. I can't remember what I called them. Shoot angle randomization, okay. Let's go back. Okay, so we have shoot angle randomization aiming float and let's have this equal I don't know, five and var shoot angle randomization not aiming float and let's have this equal I don't know 15 all right so we have our two variables in place and now let's actually put them in the place where they need to be 
or put the uh, code in place that we need. So we're inside of the if statement that's uh, if we're holding down left click or fire one and we're ready to shoot new bullets and shooting a bullet and resetting the timer for waiting until the next bullet. So we're going to put right here, um, we need to, was it? Target X rotation. And now we need our random number, random dot value, oops, not times, minus zero. 0.5 so that way now this whole thing because random dot value will give you a random number in between 0 and 1 and when we minus 0.5 now we get a random number in between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5 now let's multiply this whole thing by the number we get back from math f dot lerp and let's see our aiming um, is going to be the first one we put in so shoot angle randomization aiming and now if we get back a one or we just have the gun resting at our side we're going, going to do shoot angle randomization not aiming and now we need what is it ratio hip hold all right now this will give us a number that is in between shoot angle randomization aiming and shoot angle randomization not aiming based on the ratio that determines whether or not we are holding down right click or not so let's go ahead and copy and paste this whole line and let's just change that x to a y uh, let's save it and go into Unity and say, see how it looks. It looks like uh, we're getting some scatter with our bullets. Looks pretty awesome. So right now the gun looks kind of like it's just twitching out. It doesn't really look like it's shooting. So we'll have to add that recoil in the next episode. And when we aim in, it is more accurate. So less accurate, more accurate. You know, I'm going to change my gun. Um, so that it doesn't look so ugly, I guess, so that you can actually see um, where you are shooting. So we need this cube and this cube, and I'm just going to shrink it down really tiny. And I want my zoom to be less. So where was that zoom angle? Um, I'm going to set this to 50. There we go. I think the gun looks a little better now. Just zooms in a little. So there you can see more accurate, less accurate. So we can adjust those two variables until we get exactly what we want, but at least now we have an inaccurate gun that uh, gets more inaccurate the longer you hold it down, and the bullets actually appear depending on how the gun moves. So yeah, the next episode we'll be adding recoil to the gun, so stay tuned for that. Uh, until the next episode, I'll see you guys later. Keep making games.